How do you deal with stress? The big word, the gigantic overwhelming emotion called stress. Typically when I get this question, it's in the form of, do you ever get stressed? Do you feel stressed? You seem super happy and light all the time. My answer of course is, hell yeah, of course I do. I'm a normal human being. I am uh, full of faults and flaws and I have normal human experiences, one of which is stress. The question isn't, do we get stressed? The answer is yes. The question is, how do we cope with it? Here are three ways I cope with my stress and I think they can work for you. Number one, you need to have a venting friend. Not your spouse, uh, not your significant other, not your boyfriend or girlfriend, someone who's a little bit further removed from you who you call just to vent. And you tell them that that's the purpose of the conversation. So say when I call up my assistant, I might say, you know what, something stressful just happened to me. I'd like to have 10 minutes of your time just to tell you what happened and to like work it through verbally. And she's awesome, she's like, great. And I listen, and she listens as I go through it, and guess what happens by the end of the phone call every time? I'm like, ah, oh, that felt good. And I realize it's not a big deal. Or now I know what to do. Or thanks so much for listening. The point is it's not bottled up inside me, I get it out. Who's your venting friend? You need a venting friend. And the way to get one is to offer to be someone else's. Say, when you want to vent, just call me up and I can do the same for you. Again, it's not good to be your significant other because let's leave that kettle of fish to itself. Number two, long nature walks. You guys have heard me talk about long nature walks before. Uh, trees release phytonicides, I think I'm saying that right, P-H-Y-T-O-N-I-C-D-E-S, phytonicides. What do phytonicides do? When you breathe them in, they lower the cortisol level in your body. What's another word for cortisol? The stress hormone. You wanna talk about getting rid of stress? How about breathe in chemicals from trees? It literally works. It reduces the cortisol level in your body. Padam, you're done. But now you're watching this and you're like, well, I'm on, I'm on a computer right now, I'm watching YouTube, and, and so, so am I. I'm tethered to my device too. So I, I mean, literally leave your cell phone at home, find a hiking trail in your house, and just go for a half an hour walk. It will help for sure. Third way is related to the first, which is journaling. And I'm not talking about two minute mornings, which you see behind me, which is, you know, what's one thing I'll let go of? What's one thing I'll be grateful for? What's one thing I'll focus on? That's the way I start my day in two minutes. I'm talking long form journal. I'm talking angry writing. I'm talking this person pissed me off and this felt so nasty when they said this. And just like spewing to you in a place where no one else will see it. So um, open a Word document on your computer, just start writing. You can save the document if you want or you can delete it or you can just call it journal and hide it somewhere in your hard drive that no one will ever find it. And then you add to it later, but by spewing and articulating those thoughts to yourself, you will also be removing them from your body. There is a lot of research and science behind the fact that when we crystallize and inject our anxieties, we can actually get rid of them. Those are my three ways to get rid of stress. What's something that works for you? What's something that I didn't address? What's something that you challenge or you want to fight me on? Leave me a question, query, quibble, comment, comment, comment in the comments below. And I would love to read and reply to everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for helping to grow and build this community, this safe space online where we have great conversations about how to live intentionally.